What's up, YouTubers? This is Smokestack Reviews. We're going to be doing a review on Starbuzz's exotic line guava. Uh, my name is Sean, aka uh, Ringzilla. My name's Chase, aka Ducky Getting Tub. Sideshow's behind the camera. He'll be in this review as well, like normal. Um, but he's behind the camera right now, hence the name Sideshow. Uh, we're going to, like, all. Uh, yeah, like this is pretty much just gonna be a seizure review. Um, he's gonna tell you the setup, and then uh, I'm gonna get into the rating system. So go ahead. We're smoking out of the very, very sexy Maya Bambino with three coconaras, ice cold water in the vase, vortex bowl, Namar hose, keeping it real in the streets. All right, um, no diffuser, no nothing like that. Um, we like noise. Yeah, we like the bubbles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, we rate. Uh, Three things, uh, the, the cut, the smoke, and the taste. Uh, we all make an, a decision together before the video how we're gonna rate the cut. We're gonna, we all rate the cut a five out of five. It's really juicy, really, it smells amazing. Um, I'll show you the cut. We only have a little bit of it left because we've been doing work on this. You can see it's just like, it just sticks to the bottom. Like it's just so juicy. And there's no like no I found no stems in this, like no joke, not one not one stem. Worth your money, unlike Fantasia. Uh, Fantasia, I'm not even gonna go into Fantasia. If you've seen my rant about Fantasia, then yeah, you know, um, it's like smoking dog turds. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into the smoke, show you how this thing smokes. Then he's gonna show you how he does his clouds and. Uh, then we're all gonna do a rate together on the clouds and the taste. So I'll, st I'll start off. I'll show you one without trying to make rings. As you can see, massive clouds. I'm gonna give this just five out of five. What's your take on it? <clears throat> this is why you pay for Starbucks. This is why you fork out that extra little dollar because they're really hot right now. If you need a good reason to buy it, that was enough reason to buy it. Definitely five out of five for clouds, most definitely. Ignoring the taste, just the clouds by themselves is one reason to buy this shisha. And the taste by itself, absolutely just amazing. amazing. It's so it's so strong, it's just there. Definitely a five out of five for flavor in my book. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more and I'll tell you how I rate the flavor. Five out of five, just like Chase. Um, I love this flavor. This is my top, on my top five favorite shishas because the the buzz you get from this is ridiculous. Um, I it's, it's starting to go down for me the buzz because I've been smoking it for so long. Yeah. Um, but when I first smoked this, I've been I, you are a hookah smoker. You know about most likely you know about hookah sick. Uh, I got really really sick, but. Um, that's just because I did, how long were you at the, cl at the club, man? We were at a hookah lounge probably from 7 to 2, switching off three different bowls between Blue Mist, Pink, 
and guava. I know we're weird. Yeah. But those were like the top three. And the chick was hot. So she said she, she was, did some damn great selling. Yeah, so, she was giving us free bowls left and right. So, you know, you're, you're not going to turn down a free bowl of Starbucks. No. Now, the thing with this kind of shit is if you're a first time smoker, do not. Do not. Try something else. Do not get this right off the bat. It, it, it is really harsh. It like, will probably make you hate it. Yeah. It's like Jägermeister. You need to build up a tolerance enough to where you love it. That shit runs through our blood. So you know, yeah. like. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna let Sideshow get on this to tell you how he rates this. Hold this man. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's right. I'm rocket shades too. What's up? <laughs> We all rock shades. <laughs> Let me get a better hold of the camera so I'm not shaking it. Oh, I love guava. <clears throat> Tastes definitely a five out of five. Uh, the clouds you can see, that's a... Uh, Dear God. It's definitely getting a five. That could hurt, but that felt good. You need to tell them how you, like, you hated it the first time you smoked it. That way they know. First time I tried it, it was out of Sketchy, our first hookah. It was not that good. Uh, it was terrible whenever I first tried it. Then started getting used to it, then... The, my palate built up a quite a good taste. You know how the first time you ever tried beer, you know how it's like, eh, and then it gradually grows on you? That's what this is. That's what, this is like the, this is like the shisha equivalent to beer. You gotta build up. You gotta, you gotta smoke it a little bit. Like, two, three bowls in, you'll love it. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> Ringzilla's right. Not a first time smoke. No. No, 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 no. You, uh, I'd suggest going in on, let's say, your first bowl, I'd try something like, uh, like maybe Safari Melon Dew, also from Starbucks Exotic Line, just to get your, uh, your, your, your palate going, then go into Melon Blue, and then into Guava. And Blue Mist. And then Blue Mist. Like that, that right there is an idea session, an ideal session right there. Try that. But if you want to be balls to the walls... And you want to just say, you know, bug life, fuck it. I mean, first time smoking, you want to try guava, go ahead, but be warned. It, it, it's some rough stuff. It's just like exotic palm berry from Starbuzz. It will knock you on your ass when you're not even expecting it. It's like a Manny Pacquiao right hook, okay? Like, it's some rough shit sometimes. It's like a, it's like a Holyfield bite off, you know, fucking Tyson. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, this has been Smokestack Reviews. Rate, comment, subscribe. This is an official video for hookahpro.com. Check that out. Awesome stuff. Awesome people. Awesome contests. Awesome everything. <laughs>